Who am I? I'm the greatest. Who am I? I'm getting paid. Who am I? I'm so flagrant. Who am I? I'm the greatest. Who am I? I'm getting paid. Who am I? I'm so flagrant. I'm running the race and I'm faster than him. Yeah, yeah. All of the trash, forget them. I'm running the race and I'm faster than him. Yeah, yeah. All of the trash, forget them. Today's shout out goes to Lance Macugay. So thank you for your comments and thank you for watching my videos. What is going on? How are you doing? It's John and I'm back out here. I had to do it, man. I'm back out here doing some catfish fishing with my dad and it's a beautiful day. It's like, whew, it's like 80 degrees right now and water's extremely warm, but I'm really excited. Today's video, I'm gonna do a catfish catch and cook for you, um, recommended by Bidney Vay. So shout out to you, Bidney Vay. I've never done this before, especially with the catfish. So we're gonna uh, fillet a catfish and I have a special dish that's uh, actually one of my favorite and uh, I'm gonna make it for you guys to see it. It's uh, fairly easy to make. Uh, you don't need much, but uh, we'll get to that later. But don't forget to like and subscribe. If you enjoyed the last video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below what you think. And uh, if you have any thoughts or any comments, leave them down below and I'd like to hear from you. Shout out to David for always hooking me up. So be sure to check his uh, channel down below. I'll leave the link down in the description below. He has a lot of cool contents, so check it out. So without further ado, let's get to fishing. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, we're gonna be using the shad. I got this from David, so shout out to David for hooking me up with the shad. Um, they smell great. <laughs> I got a rig on my catfish rod that I got from Walmart and with a seven dot hook with the float. And we're just gonna no hook it like how we did last time on the last video, so boom. That is the secret ingredient to catching catfish. Let's go. Watch for the bobber. Oh, there he goes, there he goes, the cat. Oh. Oh, I forgot the drag. I forgot to set my drag. My dad just down from me, so I think he's literally just throwing a shad on a line with nothing on it, no weight, nothing. Just a hook, a six eye hook, and a piece of shad, really. It's actually pretty easy stripping line from a spinning reel. You just kind of do this and the current does its job. Fish on, fish on, let's go, dude. Same spot, look at that, guys. <laughs> Look at that, man. Oh my gosh. Oh, this guy's a chunker, dude. I have a, uh, I'm fishing straight braid because I don't have any mono at home. Uh, I'm using 50, 50 pound power pro braided line, which you can buy at Walmart. But this is a, a chunker one right here. Man, irresistible to the shad, man. They, they love the shad. Oh, what happens? What's going on my reel? Oh no. Oh, okay. Okay, my reel came off. That's all right. Look at that, boys and girls. <laughs> this is so awesome. I enjoy the fight. I enjoy the bobber going down. Just seeing that bobber go down, it's like like David said, it's just uh, thrilling, man. It just gets your your body pumping, your blood pumping. It's so exhilarating. I love it. Beautiful fish. So this one's gonna be lunch. We're gonna we're gonna. Uh, expire this fish and put it on the stringer we got them right on the side of the mouth here so look at that i'm using gamagatsu seven out hook from walmart so they work really well but this is a nice nice eater look at that you really just let the catfish take it you know you don't really have to set hook instantly um, they hook themselves on the side of the mouth. Uh, you just kind of just feel the tension on the line. Just kind of really keep an eye on the bobber basically for snags or if it's too high or if it's actually hitting the bottom. You know when the fish bite. Oh, looks like my dad got one. <laughs> he's on with the bobber. He switched up to a bobber and now he's on. He's simply <laughs> putting a bobber like how he's pan fishing and he's on right now. I'm running the race and I'm faster than him. Yeah, yeah. All of the new trash, forget him. All right, guys, so it's time to cook. It's 12 o'clock and I'm hungry. My dad's still fishing, my dad's still fishing but um, we're gonna do some cooking here 
And today's dish is very special. I remember growing up having my mom cooking this for us all the time with the catfish. Sorry, I'm uh, under the bridge because I need shade because it's freaking hot out there. Uh, it's like 85 degrees. I'm gonna fillet the catfish real quick and then we're gonna get onto the cutting board and we're gonna start cutting the meat up, rinsing it, and then throw it into the pot. Uh, with oil and you know cook it up real well and then mix it in with the jalapenos and for this dish all you need is fish jalapenos ginger garlic if you prefer uh, i have onions i might use a little bit of onion and salt and oil that's all you really need so let's get to it all right guys so next up i have the meat filet obviously we're gonna wash it with a water bottle as clean as possible we're just gonna keep the meat Obviously, take away the, the skin, just kind of taking all these meat out. Doesn't have to be perfect, you know. I'm not the best uh, chef here, but we should be able to manage. So you're really, just gonna take all the meat that you can from the fish here. It actually just peels out real nice, like that. It peels out like this. So, this you can just toss out. So, you got a nice piece of meat here really clean do the same thing to the other one here make sure you have a sharp knife it is like 80 degrees out so it's freaking hot just like that look at that nice piece of meat nice and fresh from the river so we're gonna wash it and then I'm basically gonna cut it to chunks and we're gonna rinse it real nice and then we're gonna stir fry it with the uh, oil Next up, we're gonna rinse the meat. Whew, looks so tasty. I didn't eat anything all day today, so I'm hungry. All right, that will do. So now, we're basically gonna cut this into chunks. We wanna cook this into the little pot. And unfortunately, I don't have a, a little camping pot. This is like my catch and cook kit. So I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna put as much meat as, as I can into that pot and I'm gonna cook it. And obviously I'm not gonna go buffet style here. I'm not gonna go all out. I'm just gonna cook a little dish for my dad and I and it's kinda just to enjoy out here, you know, it's just a blessing to be out here and enjoy all this wonderful meat that we get from the river. And I'm excited. This is all from one catfish. Um, so now that we have it rent and cut into a nice little piece that will fit into our little pot, we're gonna stir fry it up. So here we go. Well, my dad's having fun catching a bunch of catfish right now. He just called one right now currently, and I'm gonna cook. So we're gonna pour the oil in here. I'll put a link down in the description below for all the items that I'm using here. So that way you can get your hands on some too if, you have, if you're interested. This thing's actually pretty strong. I mean, I got all this stuff from Walmart, so you can definitely get your hands on it. Some vegetable oil from home. Normally what we would do is we'll cook the fish first and then until it's fully cooked and then we're gonna cook this um, jalapenos. You can also microwave the jalapeno if you like, but um, I'm just gonna throw it in here for, you know, the video's sake. It still tastes good that way. So I just put a little bit of oil, enough for, uh, you know, for me and my dad. So, so next up, basically I'm gonna put the, the meat inside to the pot and we're gonna cook it until it's fully cooked. And then we're gonna throw in the jalapenos, the ginger, and the lemongrass, so that's gonna be good. There we go. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that. And you're gonna stir it real good and wait till it's fully cooked. It doesn't take too long to cook. Fish meat cooks pretty fast. So we're gonna cook this stuff until it's cooked and then. Um, Really just gonna throw in the jalapenos and the ginger real quick. And for the ginger and lemongrass, you can kind of just chop it real quick and mince it real well and just toss it in here. So um, the jalapeno cooks fast too. So we're gonna do that real quick here. So next up, we're gonna add a little bit of salt. <laughs> I can smell it, dude. It smells so good. Right now I have it on low heat. As you can see, the meat's turning white. So we're gonna cook that until you're basically gonna cook until the meat is like really mushy, almost like a, you wanna cook it until the meat is soft and it breaks apart. I'm just gonna throw in the lemongrass, throw it in here, ginger, and lemon, 
jalapenos. So next up, I'm gonna put some ginger in here. I'm just gonna thin slice it. You, normally we will pound it or like, you know, really ground it down to get the juice out of it, but I'm just gonna do the, the caveman style. Secret ingredient, jalapenos. You can uh, seed it out, but I don't mind the seed at all. Especially when I'm hungry out here around this time. Can't go wrong with this. So what you're gonna pretty much do is just gonna cook this until the jalapenos are nice and mushy. So it's gonna become this nice paste, uh, a little bit harder than like your mashed potato, but it's gonna taste delish. You keep cooking it until the meat becomes a little mushy along with the jalapenos. It's gonna taste great. I can smell it already. It's so good. And like I said, normally I will microwave the jalapenos or you can actually uh, cook the jalapenos separate and then put the two together. I'm just gonna do it the uh, instant faster way. So let's see how it turns out. It smells good already, guys. You keep cooking until it becomes this little uh, mush. The meat gets very soft along with the jalapenos and that's when you know it's ready. So it um, goes really well with sticky rice. Oh, I wish I had sticky rice here, man. It tastes really good when you get a bowl of sticky rice and you kind of just smush it in here into the meat and just eat it that way. It is bomb. I really wish I had rice right now, seriously. I'm like literally drooling right now, man. It's unbelievable. It's turning out real nicer, guys. So I'm gonna keep cooking until the jalapeno are just mushy. My dad's gonna love this, man, seriously. He was laughing, but I think he's gonna, gonna ask for the rice. The ginger and the jalapeno are getting a little bit softer. And once that's done, it's time to eat. It's a little bit of struggle cooking on top of the, all these little big rocks, but it's the only spot that we have shade. <laughs> Everywhere else is like freaking hot out. So the sun is just beaming down on us. We have this, we're cooking under this bridge and it's fantastic. All right, a little bit of taste test. Here we go. Mmm. Yo, spicy, it is good. Give me some rice. This is how it looks like in the pot. Obviously it's gonna be a little mushy, You're getting a little softer too. And this is kinda how it looks like inside the pot. That's how it looks like. So it's gonna be like a little sticky paste almost like a mushy paste, but goes really well with rice. Um, actually, my favorite is rice in water, in a bowl of water. It goes so delicious, so well with this, especially sticky rice. If you can get your hands on sticky rice, it's it's like bomb with this. Like you can't, there's nothing you can say about that. So let's not wait any longer, let's eat. So I have the dish in my bowl, it is time to eat. So normally I'll have rice on the other side, right? But we didn't bring rice, so here we go. Look at that. Here we go. Bon appetit. Mmm. Spicy. It's so good, guys. If you love jalapeno, this dish is for you. A little bit of ginger and jalapenos. There we go, a little bit of jalapeno in here. Mmm. Hold on. Let me get a bowl of my dad. You see that? Catfish doesn't have any bone, so if it cares, they don't have bone. You don't have to search for bone or worry about swallowing bone. I think from here on, you guys are just gonna watch me finish my bowl of catfish. Spicy jalapeno catfish dish. Definitely worth it. Mmm. Woo! Bring some for my dad. See if he likes it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shame on. Oh Chin, yeah. She not too young no. Yep, good. Don't you play another number E? Wow. How's it do? No more. Good. How's it do? Delicious. Still some leftover left. <laughs> I can't stop eating it. Look at this. 
Hmm. I'm just gonna eat it all. And um, I'll see you on the next adventure. Again, thank you for watching. I truly appreciate all my viewers, all my subscribers. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, this catch and cook. Um, you know, shout out to Bindi Bang for you know bringing it up and I just thought it was a really cool idea, perfect time, and why not come out here during this time and do a catch and cook video. If you guys enjoy catch and cook videos, please let me know. know comment down below, let me know what you guys think, what you guys want to see, any ideas, you know, let me know, feedbacks, anything, I'll take it. I will appreciate it a lot. So until next time, find a reason, not an excuse, fish.